Hi there, welcome to this quick video. It's uh, one of these on-the-fly videos. I just got something in my head after watching a few uh, YouTube videos, um, fragrance related, and thought, oh, I'm going to put my views out there as well. Um, I was watching somebody smelling some niche um, perfume, and they were pretty sort of disappointed with it. You know, for the price you're going to pay, you expect to get the, the absolute gem of a juice. Now, um, in this video, I just wanted to kind of go through what my favourites are and, you know, would it, would it, do I prefer sort of niche, uh, independent perfume houses or designer? Now, straight to it, I have to say I prefer um, designer. The simple reason uh, being, and this isn't going to be edited, so it's, you know, just going to be how it is. But uh, yeah, I prefer designer for the simple reason you get usually a decent amount of juice for a pretty decent price. You know, let's face it, um, fragrances, unless you're buying, um, you know, Brut or Blue or um, Old Spice and stuff like that, if you're buying fragrances, you know, they're not cheap. But I think with designer, you're getting sort of a good bang for your buck, um, depending on, on the house and everything. You know, um, I will still say that there are some designers that I think some of their stuff should be going down now in price, but they don't. They're still staying up there in the kind of 50, 60 quid mark. And yet they've been around for donkey's years. Um, for example, YSL's um, Jazz. That's been around since I was a teenager. And they're still selling it as if it's uh, only just come onto the market. Now you get things like Cool Water, when that first came out that was quite expensive, Cool Water now you can literally buy in a, um, a discount shop for about 15 quid for maybe 50 or 20 quid for 100 mil. Same with um, Yelp as well, you can get a big 125 mil bottle of Yelp for about 25 quid. Um, when it first came out that would have been up um, in the 40s mark and obviously at the pricing uh, back then, you know, as they say in the old days, you know, you talk to your grandmother, you get fish and chips for a penny. So, you know, 40 quid back then, when it first came out, would be the equivalent of sort of, say, 60 to 80. But again, now, even on today's prices, you can get 125 mil of Yelp for about 20, 25 quid because it's been around so long. And I think stuff like um, Jazz from uh, Yves Saint Laurent should now be going down like they are it, because it's been around so long they might have remixed it and reformulated it a bit but come on it's not a new release it's nothing special anymore bring the price down so that little bit out the way i do still think designers are probably the way to go simple fact is they have the budget to pay top perfumers uh, top noses to create their stuff and they won't put it on release until it's absolutely perfect you know they've got that sort of budget so when you buy designer um, fragrance from Dior or Yves Saint Laurent or wherever you are pretty much going to get something special um, there are a few yeah that are a bit generic and stuff but in the majority of designers you're going to get something special for about 40 to 50 quid you know, um, and I think you can't really go wrong there. Now, <clears throat> independent per perfumers, now some of my statements in this video might, you know, offend some people, but I don't really care, because the way I look at it, and this, this isn't all independent perfumers, don't get me wrong, there are some fantastic ones out there, but for me, um, testing a lot of them, the majority of independent perfumers tend to, I I don't think they've quite got it, you know, they some some have. But some haven't quite hit the mark. They're too new. They're not. Um, they haven't studied in uh, grass for thirty years or whatever it is, you know, more than a doctor would to become a perfumer. They've kind of done it on their own, and yeah, they're doing well. But they haven't quite got it right. And I also think a lot of these um, independent uh, perfumers, they tend to. They're focused on trying to tell a story too much. Um, you know, they put a, a weird name on it. I'm not going to mention names or anything, but they. A lot of independents, they put sort of names, you know, I'll make one up. Okay, I'm an independent perfumer, pretend. Um, I've made up something that smells, what I think is pretty good, and I'll call it, um, you know, Dark Stories from Netherland. <laughs> you know what I mean? And when you smell it, mm, right, what does that smell like? Okay, it smells a little bit like, you know, a, a Fausty 
there's a faustiness to it there's kind of but then it springs into a bit of citrus you know it tells us a story but is it something i would want to wear on a night out you know uh, if somebody's going out on a date or if they're going out with their significant other to a restaurant would you want to smell like these sort of things you know um thunderstorm in a in a drunkard's alley or something that's something you know just pretending you know you know what i'm saying the, the independent perfumers tend to try and tell stories too much now if you want to, to smell like things like that just you know get something say from the library of fragrance or demeter as it's called uh, in the states <clears throat> you know get, get some of that if you want to smell a, a thunderstorm buy thunderstorm from them if you want to smell snow buy a little bottle of snow um, if you look at some other reviews you'll see I've reviewed things like that if you want to smell like waffles buy their bottle smell like waffles just screw the cap off mm, smell the bottle no need to spray it because you don't want to go out smelling like waffles you don't want to go out smelling like a thunderstorm or a bookcase but if you want to smell you know uh, just have those things to you know make a memory arise or create some sort of memory from it then smell the bottle put it back on your shelf you know a, a kind of um hello a uh, somebody else wants getting on the action here you know buy stuff like that but don't buy it to wear and i say i think independent perfumers they tend to get a little bit too creative and lose the fact that people might want to be wearing their perfume out on a night out to a nightclub to a restaurant wherever and you know they don't particularly want to have hints of um, dead leaves popping out and stuff like that so that's my problem with independent perfumers their prices vary some are cheap some are starting to you know get a bit expensive um, but you know I think they're just a little bit too creative and it, they're, they're making beautiful things beautiful um, scents but not something you'd necessarily want to wear out on a night out whereas a designer would always always um, make something that's wearable that you can wear you know okay let's grab the one million if you want to smell young and go to a club um, do you know what I mean you, you've got so many things so if you want to be classy you, can, you know Givenchy gentleman um, it's wearable and you want to wear it whereas independent perfumers you tend to just have these kind of weird stories put in in a bottle that moves me on to niche now there are a lot of good niche houses but in my personal opinion um, niche houses uh, just like taking the piss out of people they they they're riding the crest of a wave that was created years ago possibly nothing to do with fragrance they their company may have I don't know sold made clothes and sold a scarf to Queen Victoria or one of the royal family back then <clears throat> and they got a royal warrant because Queen Victoria wore a headscarf made by them but they wouldn't have necessarily been into fragrances until sort of you know 1970 or something like that but they'll still put that warrant on the fragrance um, because it's something because the company did something so long ago they'll use that then to kind of you know create this um, Self-promotion, basically, just, uh, you know, this is us, we've been around this long, although we've only been doing fragrances for 50 years, we've been around 200 years, um, so we demand a massive high price on our product, and I think that's the trouble with a lot of niche houses, they, they're just um, full of shit, really, to be honest, uh, so I'm naming no names, but I think they're full of shit, and they, some of the fragrances you could spend, like, you know, up to... 250 300 quid for a 75 mil bottle of, of juice or something you know come on um I, you you could get something equally as good if not better by a designer um that's been around a long time gone down in price pick it up for about 30 quid instead of spending something like 250 quid and, uh, and 30 quid for 100 mil or 250 quid for 50 mil because it's a niche it's niche we're niche we're cool you know we're cool we've been around a thousand years um so that's my problem with niche um you know they, they they're kind of riding this sort of wave of something that's been created a long time ago and and using that to kind of in my opinion dupe people um so yeah anyway let's just have a quick slurp of tea Hmm. It's freezing here in the UK. I don't know whether you've seen my video the last one where uh, we were in the snow. Um, it's all melted now, but it's still minus two or something like that, which is pretty cold, really. But anyway, back to what I was saying. So independent houses, I think they tend to um, 
they rely on people that I don't know must have a lot of money or don't sometimes appreciate the value of money as much um, there's no way I could ever justify spending to be honest over a hundred pounds for um, any fragrance even if it's a hundred mil um, that's just me you know um, I have other things that I could be spending that money on you know I just can't sort of do that not when I know I can get a uh, designer for about 40 50 quid 100 mils worth or 75 mils worth and it's gonna perform it's gonna you know smell good not everybody's gonna like it admittedly but it's going to smell good to some people because they have the the top quality um, you know they have the the budget to spend on it um, I mean, even niche, uh, sorry, yeah, even niche houses, they do not have the budget that, that a designer house has. You could take somebody, let's, I don't know, I, I won't say any names, but um, you could take a niche house that is obviously selling their perfumes at a massive price tag, um, and but they would still not have the budget or be anywhere near as profitable as Dior or Ralph Lauren. They're the big guys. They've got the, they've got the budget, you know, and they say, right, we're going to release something new, Here's a whopping rate budget and get the best perfumer you can to create this new fragrance. And you're going to get the results, you know, they deliver. So that's why I like designers, um, you know, whereas niche houses, even though they're, they're you know, um, costing an arm and a leg to buy these fragrances, they're not that good. You know, some are good, but they're not, they, they're not like, um, you know, you, you get designers in the middle, you sort of get independent perfumers down there. This isn't price wise, you know, then you've got your sort of, oh, your niche, you know, they're right up there. But um, no matter what they do, they, I don't think they can ever beat a designer's um, brand. You might get the odd occasional one, you know, that's, that's um, hyped to death and, and is the king of all fragrances. But in my opinion, a lot of these um, niche houses now, they're being cloned by uh, some sort of in other independent perfumers and they're, the independent ones are doing a damn good job. Um, so yeah, that's my, I'm, I'm rambling on a little bit, but I just wanted to get it out there what I think of um, the kind of three stages of, you know, you, you, you perfumery or, you know, um, when you buy perfumes, you know, you've got your sort of independent perfumers, some are good, some haven't quite cracked it yet in my opinion um, some do sell really nice fragrances you can wear but a hell of a lot of them sell memories in a bottle which you wouldn't necessarily wear out you've got your um, designers in my opinion are the top of the tops because they've got the budget they've got the they've got everything to make the best perfumes and then you've got your niche which are in my opinion overpriced um, fragrances being marketed by companies that are um, writing their own success story, making up their own history after time, and just getting bloody greedy, to be honest, and not producing the goods. You know, some, yeah, some are good, but some aren't so good. You know, I've seen so many reviews of some of these niche, and they say, well, this just smells like blah, blah, blah from the house, you know, a designer. So that's my take. Let me know your thoughts. Are you a designer guy are you into sort of supporting the independent perfumers and what do you think of them or you know do you like to get the top end now don't get me wrong some of the top end ones <clears throat> i will mention them you get people like uh, roger uh, dove roger dove he, his stuff is well up there in the price range but it you know the the ingredients are absolutely fantastic and amazing you know he uses the best of the best of the best um, he's obviously got to make a profit as well, but the whole thing screeches luxury. Uh, you know, you get a bottle of that, and everything from the cap, the crystal, the glass, the weight of the bottle. I don't own any, but I have gone to obviously um, London Harrods and places like that and, and seen all these things. Um, but you know, that reeks of quality. And if you've got the money as a you know a treat, uh, I, I don't blame anybody um, buying a bottle of his stuff for the price it costs because, it, as I say, it just oozes quality it oozes luxury um and so i think that's okay but some of these uh niche houses the bottles are plastic looking the caps don't fit right um they haven't spent a lot of money on the design the bottles aren't heavy and you know uh, and you think well, what christ they're trying to sell themselves as a super luxury top quality high-end 
um, niche product and it's um, looking as cheap as a kind of a designer bottle and even some designer bottles are better quality and, and make better things. I can't waffle on too long. Um, <laughs> I have waffled on far too long, but that's my take on the three sort of levels. You know, let me know what you think, uh, your disappointments or uh, successes with uh, purchases from any of these things, and it'd be great to hear in the comments. Um, yeah, subscribe, uh, hit the notification bell. I'm starting to try and get a bit more active again, and um, if I don't see you uh, during the uh, holiday period, have a great holiday period, and I'll see you soon. Take care now. Bye.